Plus, at 50 celebrations, the state government has held a Thanksgiving service. The choir and other invited ministers of the gospel took turns as they led with songs of praise. Pressing on to higher heights, the guest speaker, Pastor Matthew while taking his Bible reading from Philips 3, 14 down to 24, says this government must stay focused and not get distracted. Forget. What does it mean to forget? It means to consign to oblivion all the great previous achievements. If we do not consign to oblivion, we will be so entrapped by the things we have achieved that we miss the things we can achieve. I told the children of Israel when they stayed around the mountain because they saw smoke, they heard his voice, he said, move, move forward. We need to dismiss from the mind the things of yesterday. We need to lose consciousness of where we have been, the things we have achieved. Lose sight of the present in order to gain a greater future. One after the other, other Christian leaders offered prayers for both the state's first family and the state at large. Lost, for the last two years, so much has been done. But we are believing in you, God, that you will empower him. You will enable him to do much more because all that he's doing is doing us unto the Lord. Because their leader and governor are so true false, you will remember them for good. Yeah. Each day will be a day of celebration. Yeah. Thank you, ever-living Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Yeah. Amen. In his speech, the governor, while thanking Legosians, said he owed God the praise. Psalm 103, verses 1 to 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. To him alone be all glory and all honor and all adoration. As the dancing and praising continued, one thing that was evident is the constant smile on the face of one man whose two years in office have brought undeniable transformation to the state of aquatic splendor. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos. All right, that gives you the background to our mm -hmm. discussion now. Joining us now is the Chairman House Committee on Information and Strategy, Honorable Tunde Brimo. Tunde, good morning, Honorable. Good morning. Good to good see morning. you. Good to be here. Well, happy Democracy Day. Happy I, Democracy I, I, Day I, I, on I one hand. Say, I wish you say. Yeah, wish and say. also happy Lagos at 50th anniversary. Yes, I wish you say as well. <laughs> Double barrel celebration. Double barrel celebration. <laughs> exactly. All right, now let, let's get into this right now. Lagos, we just had a discussion with uh, Sumi Smart Cole. He took us down mm. memory lane on how Lagos has been, what was of Lagos that time, the kind of discipline and all the structures and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. But developing from there until now, 50 years after, mm -hmm. first of all, give us a total overview of how you would rate Lagos' performance since uh, it, well, it became, or since it was created. Now let me say we give glory and adoration to God for the progressive transformation of Lagos. Uh, like uh, Papa said when he was here, Lagos used to be uh, small mm. because he said Lagos terminated at Jibo, the mm. Victoria land, Lagos Island, and uh, up to Jibo. That was the whole of Lagos. And it was actually designed for about 500,000 people. Mm. Mm. But Lagos metamorphosed from that to a large expanse. And uh, the growth and the, the, the spread of Lagos is uh, one of the fastest growing in the world. I think it was ranked number uh, the second in Africa. So if we look against that background, we will know that Lagos has really come a, a long, a long way, way mm. as it has evolved mm. from a mere uh, colony to a federal uh, 
capital territory from there to a state of its own with um, development spreading across not within uh, the metropolis of Lagos alone, not, not within the territory of Lagos alone that was branded a federal capital, mm -hmm. terminating Ajibu, but spread all along. Because once the state capital, uh, once the state creation came in 1967, mm -hmm. and the state and the, the was no longer, Dioro uh, uh, was no longer the Western region, mm -hmm. everything became part of Lagos. Then Lagos unprecedentedly spread and spread and spread and spread. And not, not just demographically, in terms of developmental. Uh, uh, infrastructures, mm. Lagos remain the yastic, the benchmark, and the flagship of Nigeria. Mm. Mm. And of course, uh, the present governor, Akiumi Ambodi, uh, has been described without making so much fuss as a man of action and few, a few words. I, I'm just trying to fast forward because we don't really have time to, you know, uh, go down uh, memory lane now. Two years at the helm of affairs. When he just came on board, um, you know, Lagosians were somewhat uh, asking. There was this uncertainty. Yeah. What is he bringing Who is on this the man, table? Akil Miambodi? He <laughs> seems to be slow, and all of a sudden, boom. Well, that's uh, is to fail to plan is to plan to fail. Mm. When the man came, he saw first before he conquered. He just just you know come and start making fire brigade approach. Mm. So the man calculated coolly, calmly, and collectedly. And yeah, it's what we are having now mm. is uh, is a man that some people have described him with so many supercoat that's and so many names apart from Akiwu Binda Kwambodi that we know him to be. <laughs> some people have got call him GGG. That mm. means God giving governor. Mm. Some even, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, some have called him a uh, stallion on steroid, a tireless man who work oh. like a, just like a jackal. Mm. But then, and he works purposefully. The the leader himself mm. the. The very respected national leader of the All Progressive Congress mm -hmm. called him Wonder Boy. You see, because he's, he's, he's a wonder to behold. He just came and uh, the way he's doing things so seamlessly without making noise. It's not mm -hmm. a question of uh, you know spending one million on a project and using ten million to commission it. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. He hardly commissions except for the uh, the coincidence of the commemoration of Lagos at fifty. You hardly see the man going about trying to commission anything. Mm. And yet projects are everywhere. I mean, he, he, he wants to be commissioning projects. He won't do any other thing because there are so many projects flung uh, far and near mm. Lagos State. And these are projects that resonate with the people, projects that are, are, are bearings with the yearnings and aspirations of the people. Mm. What people really need, pragmatic projects, practical projects, not cosmetic, not just let me mm. do it so they can say I'm doing yeah. something. Mm. He doesn't mm. do things like that. Mm. What has been initiating, what has been backing upon are things that genuinely mm. have bearings uh, uh, on, the, on the livelihood for cleaner, safer, more prosperous, and, say, and, and, and cleaner Lagos. So he, he, he's, he's been doing that, and uh, we should give him kudos, and we should thank God for uh, vastrafing us with such a man with that ethos and pathos. The passion, the vision, the mission mm. are so clear and undeniably uh, focused to, uh, to, towards a better life for Lagosians. Very well said. Very well said. Well, in, in, in this now, let, let's, let's take it from Lagos is the most populous state in Nigeria mm. with over about 21 million people. One would say across the counter or across the board, it's a blessing to Lagos. But on the other hand, when it comes to road networks, when it comes to expansion, mm. when it, how much of a challenge is that population, how much of a burden is that population on yeah. Lagos? Well, of course, uh, while well, population, we have the population uh, demographic uh, attributes could be a blessing, it also could be a burden. Mm. The blessing of it is that it's a ready market for any product. It is a, it's, it's a kind of attraction, a major attraction to investors because you have a ready, ready, ready market Made for market, whatever exactly. product that, mm -hmm. you, that is good enough uh, for sale. But at the same time, the population presents a burden because the way it, it evolves, the way it develops, is not something you plan for. Somebody said that about uh, 10,000 people enter Lagos for the first time every day. Every day. And about 600 of those 10,000 stay put in Lagos. So if you have 600 uh, people in a day staying put, add that, uh, uh, add up that in a month, you're talking about, uh, about uh, 18,000. And from there, you are moving on in a year. So that shows that the more you plan in Lagos, the more influx of people make your planning a bit uh, watery. And don't forget, people now make, uh, they, they kind of uh, improvise 
uh, livelihood. Mm. They want to live at all costs. So that's why you see people living under the, under the bridges, mm -hmm. uh, you know, creating nuisances at the shoreline of rivers and waters and all of that. And more, the more you say, okay, this area needs development, mm. and you go there and put infrastructure, the more people extend and overstretch mm. the infrastructure. They put yeah. pressure on they the They put pressure on the infrastructure and they extend the, 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 the scope again. Yeah. So but this mm. is the way Lagos is growing. And that's why we are able to celebrate mega city status at 10 million people. Mm. We are eyeing the megalopolis status very soon at 25 million people. And of course, the governor is looking at that. Mega city, megalopolis, along the, uh, I mean, in the offing. What do we make of this? And that's why he has he has marked the smart, the smart city status. Yeah. Wonder how challenging this would be then. Uh, it, it, Lagos wants to become the largest economy in Africa. It wants to be a mega city and all of that. It's a mega but city already. Mega city well, already. I'm in megalopolis. Well, well, the smart city well, is what you are. I'm. Well, well, that's another matter. Now, how do you ensure that? people are not left behind. The masses of the people, as this development takes place, as you remove people from certain areas, you know, for roads and all of that, how, what, what's the balancing act in such a way that people don't suffer? Yes, exactly. The, yeah. And that's why we, when we talk about smart city, mm -hmm. it's not smart as in aesthetics, it's not smart as in physical, mm -hmm. it's not smart as in the, the literal meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. It's a state that works for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a state, it's, it's smart city, it's a city that works for everyone. So when you talk of um, carrying people along, uh, ensuring that the interest and the, uh, the benefits of the people uh, is, is considered at all times, then the smart city is what Lagos aims to be. Transportation, you know, talking about uh, the BRT, mm. how do you move? Because if you look at it, give kudos to Ashiwaju, well, I met you for initiating the, 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 the BRT, BRT scheme uh, and uh, now being uh, overwhelmed and this, the completely uh, uh, raised to a higher pedestal by governor body, is that people should be able to move from place to place mm -hmm. without uh, inhibition, without traffic congestion. And we should discourage everybody bringing out his own car from 21 million mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. So that is working. Humboldt is looking at the, at, 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 the, at the metro line. It's looking at so many other ways of enhancing transportation. It's even looking at a way of um, collaborating with private investors Mm. and commercial vehicle operators to kind of standardize the usage of the interland uh, commercial vehicles, mm. the downfall buses, mm. yeah. will no longer be what they are now. It is going to collaborate with them and cooperate with them such that there will be investment in that sector and we can have something better, something... Uh, don't forget the days of the mm. Moldwear. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the days of the Moldwear. And compare Moldwear to BRT today. <laughs> exactly. So the downfall too will, a whole will lot give of way difference. to something better, something that will encourage you to drop your car and park and ride. All right, ah, honorable. Today, wow. Brian, well, time will not permit us to talk much, much, <laughs> much on this, but we thank you very much for coming and we wish you well in the celebration. Oh, thank you very much. Thank I wish you the same. So happy, thank happy, you. happy 50th anniversary thank of Lagos so yes. And happy Democracy Day. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Now, we'll let's take a short break. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, there's a whole lot more on TVC Breakfast.